Eme rubela obo ti adi mota ka nke mbo wa de kaka na ebute ihe de ka nje percent iri asa government state enugu adela njikere iru nuku odo ogbala abara ho na mpara holy ghost ozo mahadumu alanyi akwadola ime rube mmeje asende gochara akwukwa la nka oma Abanki iri se na boya. Ibo kwa riki kiri ayin no nyonyo YouTube na enti e nugu. Ibo bi ibo. Una eme la ngutu kakwa anonka. Tabo Wednesday ahafo. Oka koko obo mwikere ya ugu. Wato anti na la kenura koko waka oha no uju. Adema ocha kabo ozo di ire. Iji bo chie nje. Deka aka na adota nje pesenti iri asa. Nenye ahonde ozo nsobu. Onye nta akoko wetara akoko. Nanka hobo, oku akbo nono de kangalaba na homa ka ibo chinje. Akboro Infection Prevention Control Unit. Nku ula ogu, Mother of Christ Specialist Hospital enugu. Solo bo ha, ndi o zono wababuru buru. Merube oboti ademo otaka. Mme nka afa abadoro kwone kwalite omoma ihe ni zulite ndi ora huike. Site ni edenka na ozuzo baruru. Obu ya mere eji. Gosi puta ozo kama ekwaka. Deka utuwa hii kembo wa World Health Organization. Si cho. From farm to farm to farm to farm. Onye manke ekwa na ako. Doki nita kachugwa. Nko ulo ogu nkuzi mahadu maalanyi di nitukuo zala. Na onye jo kwa chief medical officer. Ulo ogu mother of Christ specialist hospital inugu. Doki nita Mary Ignatia Okafo. Badoru oku na mpo odi idewe aka ocha ni hino obu otu uzo kata dire ibo chinje. Kwa aka bu i omume balulu rene na ibo chi oya. Oya, oya anesi from ukonye to another person. Nya oya nweli ki butelega fosu sa. Oya nweli ki butelega obobo. Oya nweli ki butelege oya ne efe efe. Kadi very very important na na itinu lo manari na unogo. Kadi very important makana. Make wala ka njege buku ayeva. So iku waka ne help isapo nje na dina kai. Mema mechara bani barita oka ebo nyenkuzobi akawara ndiyoro na ndiyore ya ufodi ihe gasi. Ihe kachaputi ihe na mema hobo emo ka esi akwa aka ide ocha aka bu nke ana emerube na abali ise onwa me afo obula na enugu abu mikere awu ndi nwere ala mabu ula ahia ebe aga ro odu ugbala agbara ohuru na holy ghost de nozo ahia obu ete enugu amalitela inata hiti aka na obi de ka government state kwere ha na nkwa Chika ugu wetera koko na ndi na kwa obala na ndi ozo na esu ozo. Tolo atumatua na eku na waga kwalite akonova state ya. Ozo ahia obete ana kwa Holy Ghost bu ofu uzo ama ne wekari onodu aga kata akoro izu oshi na kwa omume ndi ozo. Manakita enye maka abiago nihi na uzo ahia hu. So na ebe ndi government state ya maputara inru nke aboro ultra modern bus terminal. Ebu mnuche government bu ikusi onodo aga kata aporo ma kwa do ezibo ncha kwa eba ahu. Imezu ebu mnuche ha government ebidogo kuwa ndi mwere shop na ala eba ahu. Ma maputa ebe ozo hagano nere ahia ha tupu. Otu onwa hage mechaya bo onru. Omumia emele ka otutu ndi mwe obi angule nihi na hasi. Na atumatu hage nyere ha aka na azomaya ha na oge na abya ni hu. Anewe too much traffic is too much. Komishona na hu maka njim abo transport. Kowa na atumatu aso na onru ndi government ini me ikwalite ezibo njim. Wee si na nka abu phase 1 project nke abapani ike gariki na nsuka sukwina ebe ndi aga anu bus terminal ahon. 
ndi oka mota na ihe gbasara ego nwere olilanya na omumia government malitebe genyekwa aka kwadite akoloba state ya ma nwete onodo de ma maka azuma ahia site na enugu abom chika ugu iwo mumendi eji emerube memme eji asende gochara akwukwo na mahadu ma la anyi di na nsuka la nkoma agbankiri se na boya ejirila ikowara ya ndi ntakoko malite no lezu mezu mahadu ma la anyi ngalaba nke enugu ya blessing anya un ji akoka anuju azo age merube na uzuka gunyere nkuzi preach nke anatoya na senator hope uzo di ma bu governor imo state gabu onye nkuzi preach ihe ngosi Egwuregu ya na ibape atumatu oru nke aru na ogige ulo akukwa mahadum nke nsuka. Onyi isi mahadum humbu Professor Charles Ibe na oge one okupute ihe ndio ozo oru gasere. Sina, umu akukwa nke ogo first degree postgraduate ya na omoyabu diploma kage tunyugo. Na otu aka Madro ano aho putara maka mbo habara na ogige ulo akukwa kaga atunyu ugo aporo honorary doctorate degree. Ebe madro iri ozobu ndi professor larana ezumike nka kaga buli okwa ha nko ibo poro emeritus professor. Oka muta Charles Igbe jikwa ohera we kene gomenti etiti ndi oru ya Yana otun ndi chiche, maka mbo hambara, niji huna maadu mke nsuka jiburu opuliche nebe ndi oboyano. Nenugu abu mblesin anyawu. Nde wo blesin. Ikwa jiputa ndi oru ubo na omoma ihe na akorongu wade mba. Iji ulite erele di nime ijo uzo teknozo ake erimeri. Ma unwulite oru ubo gano gide. Nka aho bo isi sekbonte na oba konkuzi otu ubo che. Ma kandi nwera aba na mpagara South East. Site na aka Open Forum on Agricultural Biotechnology. Ne ubudo National Biotechnology Research and Development Agency. Blessing anya unwe tere yaba akoko. Ma gerentu yari anasu su ibo. Raba eba wanye ni ma uru di na kukubi abara ohoro. Ido anya ni hea bugi ezi oku ya na ihe basatara edi maya. Ndi mwero kekuru na waga eleba anya ni ihe nechere ademondo mado akamba ubuwa. Onye jokwa vice chancellor mahadu mgofri koye. Onye nkano chitira anya ya kwenyere. Ni isi oku GM safety stewardship fortifying public confidence. Deka asuro ya nabike dabara nogi ubuwa. Ni hi ihe obodanyi na gabiga na ebe ometutara inwe rimeri ni uju. Ndi sonyere choro atumatua bunke kwa wapotara ofodu ihi ti akamba. Ana atuze anya na egota ihe o minisaye nsede na ijo uzo tekonozo ake rimeri. Genyaka iwilite ikopote rimeri wanyo. Ni pecha ako wankuru chita. Gamu nti niso kwande kwa raya koko. Eme rubela oboti adimotaka nke mbo wa. Deka aka nebute iye deka nje pesenti iri asa na oboti. Government state enugu adela njikere ero nuku odo oba ala abara ohoro na mpara holy ghost. Anye kwa kwa aragi. Na maha duma ala anye akwa dola ime rube meme eji. Ase nde gochara kukwa la nko oma. Abwa nki iri ise na boya. Ogo ba koko wanku huri sita che bize che gona ro. Make ta paraga koko wana susu beke. Ngoro kwe be na apu kwa la.
top stories tonight. World Hand Hygiene Day observed as hand contacts about 70% gems. Enugu State Government set to build ultra modern bus terminal at Holy Ghost Axis. Plus, University of Nigeria set to hold 52nd convocation ceremony. Good evening and welcome to the news at 7. Remember, you can watch us live on our YouTube channel at NTA Enugu. I am Chiegono Aro. Now, details of the news. Hand hygiene is a sure way of keeping gems at bay as the hand contracts about 70% of gems that infect the human body. UK Ugu reports that this was the object of discuss as Infection Prevention and Control Unit of Mother of Christ Hospital Enugu joined her counterparts world over to commemorate World Hand Hygiene Day. As the theme of this year's celebration revolves around promoting knowledge and capacity building for health workers, through innovative and impactful training and education. Hence, the demonstration of proper wear of hand washing is recommended by the World Health Organization. I love your finger. The resource person, Dr. Kachi Ugwara of University of Nigeria Teaching Hospital, Itukozala, and Chief Medical Director, Mother of Christ Specialist Hospital in Enugu, Dr. Mary Ignatia Okafo, harped on the need for hand hygiene. As it is one of the most effective ways of preventing infections. I found out through research that a number of infections being uh, suffered by a man comes from the hand. You know, because our hand go everywhere, we use it to do our work, we use it to do everything. In fact, uh, uh, hand, the hand is the most useful part of the body. It's actually said that 70% uh, of infection in the hospital can be prevented for if, if we wash our hands. So it's very, very important. It's our target to make sure that water sanitation is available for cleaning our hands. You know. The event later went into an interactive session where the resource person clarified some issues for staff and patients of the hospital. High point was the practice of hand washing by members of staff of the hospital. Hand hygiene is celebrated on the 5th of May every year. In Enugu, Ukeria Ugu, NTA News. Property and business owners affected by the proposed ultra-modern bus terminal at Holy Ghost Obete Main Market Road, Enugu, have started receiving compensations as pledged by the state government. Chika Ugu reports that motorists and other road users have lauded the initiative, citing that it will improve the state economy. The Obete Main Market Road in Enugu City is warm, characterized by traffic congestion, thefts, and some other criminal activities. The Bell government is a security for this renewal because people are crying bitterly. Hey, it's very bad. Somebody will come from Lagos. Maybe you come to come and see someone, they will snap your bag here. Get us a bit. Can see, can see say, everywhere, see hold up. Even a person can't pass anywhere. If you are traveling, going somewhere now, you will not move. Hold up. You have to extend the, the road. However, soccer is on its way as the market road is one of the proposed sites for the construction of an ultra-modern bus terminal. The intent is to curtail perennial traffic congestion, enhance safety and optimize transport efficiency. Matching rates with action, the state government has commenced payment of compensation to property owners around the market road and also provided temporary locations for them pending the completion in a year. The development has spurred reactions from traders and road users within the axis, describing it as a lofty initiative which will promote business-friendly environment. Some of us have received the compensation. We've seen a change. I think it's a very good idea. If the government should do that, it will help us as pedestrians when we are coming, at least everywhere will be organized. So 
I will help the government if they embark on such projects. It's a very good idea. Commissioner for Transport, Dr. Obi Ozo, explained that the initiative is part of a broader plan that includes interstate transportation at Ababanike, Gariki, and Unsuka, where the other terminals will be constructed for the phase one projects. The bus stop where we want to have is the bus stops where a vehicle and this BRT bus can actually clear out of the road and people can enter into it. The government have also now acquired buses that will be here in a few months to actually carry in the loop and give them affordable and efficient transportation. Economic experts are of the belief that this move by the state government will not only ease traffic but boost the state's economy and promote ease of doing business in the state. In Enugu, Chika Ugu, NTA News. Activities marking the 52nd Convocation Ceremony of the University of Nigeria and Soka has commenced with a press briefing at the main auditorium, University of Nigeria, Enugu campus. Bless Nanyaun tells us more. Activities to mark the 52nd Convocation includes lecture by the Imo State Governor, Hope Uzodima, drama series, music nights, sporting activities and commissioning of projects at different campuses of the university. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Charles Igbe, while giving account of his stewardship, said a total of 12,526 students will receive the award of first degree, while 1,438 others will be awarded postgraduate and diploma degrees. In addition, Four persons have been found deserving of the honorary doctorate degree, while 10 deserving retired professors from the university will be elevated to the distinguished status of Professor Emeritus. From assumption of office, I identified the senior building as one of my top priorities. Attracting and getting the approvals of Ted Fund and the Federal Executive Council for the building was an uphill task. And this can be considered one of the biggest infrastructural achievements of the University of Nigeria in the recent times. Professor Igwe also used the opportunity to thank the federal government and other development partners for their immense support as he counts down to the end of his tenure as vice chancellor. In Enugu. Blessing Anyam, NTA News. We take a short break here. Please stay with us. Glad to have you back. To equip farmers with knowledge and tools necessary to harness the potential of biotechnology for sustainable agricultural development is the crux of a one-day sanitization workshop for stakeholders in the Southeast by Open Forum on Agricultural Biotechnology under the auspices of the National Biotechnology Research and Development Agency. Again, Bless Nanyang reports. Stakeholders' awareness on the benefits of agriculture, biotech crops, clarification of misconceptions and concerns surrounding the safety. Key players say we address present challenge of human existence. Modern biotechnology is about improving the ability of crops to respond to the challenges which attend climate change. At the end, we have a network of concerned individuals for a continual exchange of information, expertise, and experience to be established. In an era marked by rapid advancements in genetic modification and GM technologies, the need to foster public confidence in the safety of genetically modified foods assumes paramount importance. Vice Chancellor Godfrey Okoye University represented believes that the theme GM safety stewardship fortifying public confidence is apt, going by what the nation is passing through with respect to food security. It is important to sensitize the Southeast zone on the benefits of biotechnology and this safety to counter most health-related claims 
made by the antis in this region. Technology cannot move forward without regulatory procedures, which uh, MBMA is in charge. And uh, I am ambassador of BiSafety. I want researchers to go into a research to find out the component, nutrient component of GMO products and the natural organic product to see if there is difference. Participants applauded the initiative while also highlighting some challenges. Came here, we learned a lot. But my problem and challenges we usually have, we've not seen any solution forthcoming. Technology, uh, GMO foods uh, has its own merits and demerits. But what we are weighing is which one is better. It is hoped that an in-depth understanding of the scientific aspect of agrobiotechnology will boost food production. In Enugu, blessing I am, NTA News. There are concerted efforts in handling matters of HIV AIDS. Approach to this is in the area of innovative methods in response and prevention of the scourge in Nigeria. Kalwa Kali Ibrahim reports records. An estimated 1.9 million Nigerians are said to be living with HIV and AIDS. 27-year-old Karim was infected at birth and has been living with the virus. He is an advocate against stigma and call for inclusion. A lot of not for young people, but stigma is both the biggest threat to the rest of the country. We have a lot of young people coming down with mental health issues. In this part of the globe, Youths are said to be at a higher risk of contracting and transmitting the virus. There is also the issue of mother-to-child transmission. It is against all these issues that the 2024 HIV Prevention Youth Conference is taking place with youths from different parts of the country. This underscores the importance of community involvement in shaping effective prevention strategies, which, while ensuring access to health, for those living with HIV AIDS. Hence, the need to reevaluate, rethink, and strategize HIV prevention intervention programs is the key. Prevention is better than cure and be the change agents that Nigeria needs. We can facilitate an AIDS free generation where no child will be born HIV positive in Nigeria. Just like Kareem, many Nigerian youth are accelerating HIV prevention through innovative means to end AIDS as a public health concern by 2030. In Abuja, Salwa Khalil Ibrahim, NTE News. Just before we end the news, a recap of the top stories. World Hand Hygiene Day has been observed as hand contracts about 70% of gems daily. Enugu State Government has moved to build a modern bus terminal at the Holy Ghost Axis. We also told you that University of Nigeria has set plans in motion for her 52nd convocation ceremony. That's the news, and thanks for watching. Good night. When comfort and luxurious relaxation is your desire, May Bash Hotels and Resorts 